Welcome back to Season 1, Episode number, I don't know, 35, 36, 37, something like that. Of uh, the Minecraft B2B single player series. Uh, let stuff run overnight again. Uh, did the things. Let's check on our Steve Scott guy here. He should be doing pretty well. Got all this junk over here. Yeah, yeah, things look good over here. So let's check him out real quick. See how he's doing. Hello, buddy. He okay. So we're starting to uh, work on that durability a little bit. It's going on a little faster than I thought it would, but it did run. It's run for a while. It's been running for a good while. So that's that's nice. That um. That we're getting to see a little wear and tear. It means he's making us some stuff. That's always a good thing too. We got XP going, mob essence going, ender pearls going, the works are going. Nice, nice, nice. So let's see here. I was checking on it earlier, and I think we're about at that point where I'm comfortable with the amount of charcoal that we have and uh, and wood, um, because there'll be a few things that we'll do with the uh, the wood as well. So I think what we need to do is go ahead and get around to to setting up this. Uh, steam boiler um, these things do blow up if you don't do them right basically if it runs out of water it'll blow up um, and then if it runs out of charcoal we'll start to lose power and that's no fun either um, so let's hope we can do this correctly I'll put that there and that there and something like this so we're going to export into the system and uh, make sure you do it into this uh, solid fuel box because it won't go into uh, the actual tank. It's got to go in here. And that tank is technically just steam, right? So uh, you can't put charcoal in there. It's just steam. And well, water too. I, I don't know. Whatever. Don't ask me. So let's grab a stack of that. And come back down here and cross our fingers and hope we did everything right. Because if we did, we'll start to get a lot of steam. So basic, there it goes. It's moving. And it's sending a bunch of charcoal that way. And there you go. So slowly but surely, this will rise. And um, for you Americans that don't know what this is, 22 Celsius. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Um, so we know we don't have any steam yet we're not going to get any steam until this gets up to 100 degrees celsius so it's going to take a while um, and you can see i mean this thing is burning through charcoal very quickly so we're going to quickly start to deplete uh, deplete our supply um, which i knew was going to happen but as it starts to get warmer it'll slow down and i've got a little trick to make a little bit more uh, little bit more charcoal here using that actual um, steam boiler down there so we'll throw that in there I'm gonna grab six stacks of this and go ahead and throw that in here like that knowing that uh you know we we may I don't think we're going to have any issues. I think we'll get this all taken care of in time. And I think it'll warm up pretty quickly. But you can see Steve's cart, he's spitting out stuff right now. we got our steam boiler taking stuff. So it's a little, little trick here. But what we need to do is grab some more steel. I don't have any plates. So I need to make some plates in our rolling machine. And I think I'm going to need that many. Let me make some furnaces as well. See, man, I remembered ahead of time to uh, to do all this stuff for y'all. I probably don't remember the name of this block, though. That's okay. Uh, click that, and I'll craft the last one. So we got 16 steel plates. So let's get our furnace and this and we make steam ovens it's a two by two by two multi-block so we're gonna need a total of eight and we're gonna come down here 
and we're going to slap this bad boy right down next to it on this side. There we go, we got a multi-block. So what will happen is once this gets up going, and it's going to take a while, we're only at 38, um, and even once it hits 100, it'll go all the way up to, I believe, 1,000 degrees Celsius. That's when it's really efficient. Um, so you can see it's slowly starting to burn a little bit slower. It was it was burning through stuff earlier, um, but it'll it'll start to burn this charcoal a little slower. And then what we'll do with this is we'll we'll um, we will run this over there, and then another export we will export um, out of our ME system. We will export wood, and this will cook the wood and turn it into charcoal. And it'll use the steam because it'll um, you know share the steam basically. You know, there's little bitty pipes right there you can't see that um, you just got to pretend they're there. And it'll, sh it'll share that steam. And then over here, what we're going to do is we're going to attach some fluid ducts because this vapor is technically a fluid. And uh, we'll attach some fluid ducts and we will run over here 10 steam dynamos. Um, so we're going to have to upgrade our conduits and we're going to put in some energy cells that will... Um, hold a little bit uh, for our conduits, uh, basically kind of like a battery. So we'll have that and then we'll have like a battery here and then it'll run up here where I made a little extra room for you guys. This is y'all's area over here. Uh, and so I'm going to move machines over here and maybe have it somewhat organized and then all the lava production will be out of here. So this entire area uh, all the way over, you know, even over there will be running off of steam and then when we move further down because we got a few more things we're gonna do quite a few more things uh... then that area over there will run off lava and we'll have you know running off of ethanol or oil or you know any any anything we want um, i mean we could even run stuff off of nether stars if we want it just because we can so um, what i'll do is, is i'll watch this and once it starts actually doing what it's supposed to do because it's going to take a while. Yeah, it's not even halfway, or it's just barely halfway there. So once it starts doing what it's supposed to do, I'll uh, I'll bring y'all back. Y'all enjoy this break. That'll I'm going to take forever in watching it, and y'all be through video editing. It'll take y'all no time. So enjoy. Welcome back, guys. We are over 100 degrees. So what's it doing? Well, over here, it's slowly starting to make steam. Uh, it's not. It shouldn't be putting steam over here yet. It's gonna. It's gonna build up its own little buffer here, of steam. And you can see it holds a lot of steam. Uh, you know, over a uh, um, a million millibuckets there of steam, and it'll produce more and more. Um, and it'll get more and more efficient. Um, this seems to have slowed down just uh, probably by another tick. Um, so it'll continue to slow down a little bit uh, and use less charcoal. There are quicker ways, much, much quicker ways to warm this up. Uh, there is a, I think it's called a fire shard or no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A uh, fire stone, not shard, fire stone. Um, but the way you do this, you got to go into the nether. You... Um, there's a couple different ways to do it, but basically you've got to go along the bottom of lava lakes in the nether and find the uh, the specific ore that is uh, firestone. And from there you, you need to um, mine that up and know that it's going to catch everything on fire. Um, so it's easy to put it in inventory like, say, your, your ender pouch. Um, and then you've got to process it about two, maybe three times, uh, using a few different machines. Uh, it's all in the NEI. One's a, uh, a rock crusher, and um, you know uh, you've got to put a bunch of diamond pickaxes around it, and, and all sorts of crazy nonsense. Uh, and if you wanted to go about that way, that's fine. But this is uh, less time-consuming, simply because you don't have to find this um, the firestone um, ore, which yeah, firestone ore right there. Burning everything except flesh, you can feel it change uh, around you as you hold it. Feel the air change. So yeah, like I was saying, if if I had it in my inventory, it would start fires, and not just like a fire, and then a minute later another fire. I'm talking fire, 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 
um, you know, Beavis style or Butthead style. I don't remember which one said that, but yeah. Uh, and I won't do the impression uh, just to save y'all from my embarrassment. So pretty soon here, it'll start to uh, put some steam over this way. And then this will cook uh, our oak wood into charcoal. And then the charcoal, uh, I'll remove this and the charcoal will auto eject over here into the uh, high pressure boiler tank. And um, I might have a safety and leave it there or something and maybe, I don't know, export or import this back into the ME system um, and make some sort of weird infinite loop. Um, it's possible. I, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, here pretty shortly because it's, it's starting to, yeah, it's, it's almost a third of the way. I don't know if it needs to get halfway or if it'll fill all the way up before it'll start uh, kicking steam out. And then once it starts kicking steam out over here, it'll also... Uh, we'll put our fluid ducts over here and we'll kick out a little bit more steam and uh, we'll have this area running off of steam power. And then we'll get onto this because this will be, you know, our huge power suck um, to use all this power that we're going to be using. And then the fun starts, guys. Then the fun really starts because we can uh, really start to make some crazy stuff. And ooh, I'm excited. Are you all excited? You better be. Be right back. Welcome back guys, we have a steam oven working. I uh, figured it about as much, so there it goes. Cool. And what it'll do, um, I f I, what I was saying, I figured about as much, about halfway, and it would start uh, kicking out some steam. So this is going to you know, continue to kick out a little bit of steam. It'll lose a little pressure, it'll gain a little more pressure. Basically, kind of like, I don't know, two steps forward, uh, one step back, that kind of thing. Uh, but it'll get where it needs to go. So we have plenty of charcoal that's getting produced. Um, we lost maybe 400 while we were waiting for that whole thing. So definitely in no worry. And we had plenty of coal as well. So definitely in no worry to uh, you know have to start the process over or, or any weird you know stuff like that. So. Um, thing, things went well. So let's come out here. It's a nice, bright, sunny day. What I want to start working on is uh, some conduits that will be able to do this whole mess. Because I want to get going on this stuff and um, automate things. And I really, that's, I really want to get that room, those rooms going because they look really cool. I think they're, uh, they'll work out well. And I know what I'm going to do in three of the four rooms for sure so these conduits that I want to do are these right here the uh, the redstone ones and they do a whole lot of RF per tick and so what we're gonna need is the empty conduits which are these and that is hardened glass and electrum ingots. Uh, both of these are done in the induction smelter. Actually, I'm sorry, electrum is not done in the uh, induction smelter, or at least it doesn't have to be. Uh, but the hardened glass is, and it is pulverized obsidian. Uh, you know, just done in the uh, in the pulverizer or in the uh, IC2 um, smasher majigger thingy, and lead and then you get hardened glass and then electrum is uh, silver and gold pulverized you get electrum blend and then you uh, you smelt it up so I should be able to make some here oh that's a lot that's good so 60 so now what I need to do is get some machines to fluid transpose some destabilized redstone in here. So we are going to need a magma crucible which will turn redstone into destabilized redstone and then we're going to need a fluid transposer right next to it to transpose the destabilized redstone into the empty energy conduit and make us a redstone energy conduit. Um, it all sounds a little confusing. The first time I did it I was confused. Don't worry we got this. So we'll go over here to our magma crucible and uh, not too bad. I'm uh, going to 
have to go ahead and make a leadstone energy cell frame. Again, not too bad. Alright, and one of those. Let's get our glass out. Easy stuff, easy stuff. Alright. Back to... Alright, and if we do that, sweet, and this, and that should do it. I think we'll be able to do everything from there, sweet. Alright, magma crucible, and now we need the fluid transposer, which is right there, fluid transposer. Uh, another one of the machine frames. Actually, we've got some in there, I think. Um, another cell. Empty bucket. Is that glass? Yeah, look at that. All right, so we'll take this upstairs. And uh, we'll rearrange all this again several times, but uh, no big deal. So fluid. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you can go left to right or right to left. Um, so this is the fluids tran transposer. This is the second step. So we need to make sure that it is accepting liquids on the right side. Now this is the magma crucible. It's the first step. So we need to make sure we're exporting our liquids to the left side. Uh, and then it's pretty easy. We'll go down here, down here, get some redstone. I think it's two. I might be. So, real cool. It, and you see nothing's going here because it's auto going over here. Uh, and then you put these there. And boom. You're getting resident energy conduits. Uh, so we'll let those cook up. And we'll start working on our battery. Um, our energy cell. We are going to skip a few of the first tier ones. Because there's no point in doing them just yet um, wrong thing so there we go so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the redstone uh, which is pretty much the exact same thing we just did you can see it's uh, it takes about the uh, the, uh, the send and receive is the uh, the second highest um, because the resident is the highest so um, we're not gonna get right into this um, well let me think about this it's just Enderium. We have all the machines for it. And we have all the materials for it. I don't know, what do y'all think? Go big or go home, right? Yeah, oh, uh, resident ender buckets, those get annoying. Hmm. I have to think about this. Eh, not yet. Not yet. We'll go with the uh one tier down. Just for now. Um because this is basically um, what we're going to need because we're not doing one major power system. We'll do three. Uh, so I think we'll be okay with that. Uh, and it, it'll be a little bit easier for us to craft for now. Um, so you see here, that's the full. That's just the regular. You need another empty cell frame, fluid transposed, hardened glass, and electrum. We need to make some more hardened glass. Let me uh, let me make some more hardened glass, and I'll be right back. And y'all wonder why I'm upgrading my power system. I've killed it. I've killed our AE. I think because this is drawing so much power. It's got such a big internal buffer, um, and it is just dying. It can't. It can't do it. Um, here in a minute, it'll start to come back on. But yeah, we have we have definitely killed our power system. Hello. So it is good that we're doing what we're doing the way we're doing it because uh, I can't do anything while my power system is down. And we're just sucking power everywhere. Ay ay ay. Uh, but I did just check on the steam stuff. It is full of steam, and. Uh, I got all the charcoal out of there, and I was—that's what I was going to do—is put it all in there. But can't do that now, can we? 
Um, so why did I pulverize the lead? This is this is what I do. Stupid things. I do stupid things. Let's pulverize the obsidian. Hey, we're back up, at least for now. So yeah, that's no good when it goes down because our AE system goes down. This is by far the most important one. Our AE system goes down, and then we're not sucking stuff out of there. Hello, let's go back inside. We're not sucking stuff out of just about anything, um, and that's important because everything's running off each other. So we definitely need to get this one up and going. So let me, uh, now that I'm pulverizing the right stuff, I'll be right back. Here we go. So uh, this isn't the right, it's like eight of these and one of these or some crazy nonsense like that. But, uh, and it spits out two hardened glass, so I just kind of throw some stuff in there. So we'll see here, eight and 54, and now we have zero and 53. So yeah, eight pulverized and one um, lead ingot. So basically it's uh, two pieces of obsidian and one lead ingot because one pulverized uh, piece of obsidian will give you four. As you can see here, it's at 50 and 32. We'll go down to 49 and 36. Perfect. All right, so now we have our, let's go back to our cells. We have our hardened glass. We're making that and that and that. So now we have our empty cell frame. We need to now fluid transpose quite a bit of destabilized redstone into a uh, empty frame to get a full frame. Cool. Alright, redstone, we'll grab another stack of that and bring it up here. And time to kill our system again. I'm going to pull those out, put that in, and this will build up. So every piece of redstone gives you a hundred millibucket. So ten will give you one full millibucket. And I don't remember what the thing was. I think maybe I don't know, a lot. That's what it is, a lot. That's the uh the math term for it. So somewhere around here, maybe three probably four or five millibuckets, maybe a full five. Definitely not three though. Yeah. Once it gets there I'll bring y'all back. Alright guys, welcome back. I do have the uh, full frame, it was four buckets, or four uh, thousand millibuckets. Now I'm just making sure this is going back up because we killed our energy once again. Um, so we have our full frame. Let's go back to this cell and see the last little bit of stuff that we're going to need. Um, that's just the full, there's no crafting for it. It's just when it's full of energy. Uh, some more electrum and lead and... That should be the only thing that we need to craft, hopefully. And throw that there, and sweet. We have got this. So I'll slap this down. No, I'm not gonna slap this down there, because then I'd kill my stuff again. All right, let's make some steam dynamos and clean out this inventory. Um, I'm gonna throw these there, get rid of that. And that looks good for now. So. I should have one in the inventory, so I need to make a total of nine because I want ten. Um, and these shouldn't be too bad. Um, let's make a lot of these. And a lot of those, and a lot of this, and a lot of that. One, two, three, four. Let's. Oh, wow. We, uh, that was a double click by accident. I knew I was going to make 64, but. That was a little bit overkill. So, luckily we have more resources than what we will ever need. At least for the most part, on most things. Oh, wait. We need fluid ducts. And we're going to need quite a few of them, too. And a few more. Where are we here? That'll be good. That'll be more than good. So I think we're probably over 200, maybe closer to 250. All right, a little closer to 250. Uh, 228 now. So it's uh, it's working. You see it just made that puff sound, and it drained a little bit. And I think we're probably getting close enough to doing it. So what you need to know here 
is that if I do one and stick it on there, that is not going to be enough steam output. And nine would be good. I think we're going to go with six for now. And then we are going to run something somehow. And I want to run it up there. So I want to make this look pretty. Let's put these like this and rotate them. And that should work. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to put these here and rotate them. And that should work. And let's see. We're staying pretty stable. And we're only going to get better. And if we run out of steam, well, I mean, it doesn't matter if we run out of steam, I guess. Uh, it only r matters if we run out of water. And we're not going to run out of water. We're actually gotten a pretty good loss right now. So I'm not going to add the other two. But when I do, I'll put them there, 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 and there. And we'll run them up. Like that. And let's go upstairs. And of course, these will start using um, less as well once they start to level out a little bit. So you see they're already doing less power because uh, they're getting more stored energy. So they'll start using less steam too. So we might actually be, yeah, we've slowed down uh, the loss. And we're going to start gaining here again right there. Perfect. So maybe I will go ahead and wait. We'll wait. And uh, maybe once it gets around 500 degrees, that should be stable enough for us to not have to worry too much. Um, so now I'm going to run this like that. There we go. And then I'm going to put my redstone energy cell right here. And you see it's not getting any power. And it's just like all of our other machines. So here's the top. That is the bottom. So we need to tell the bottom to get energy. So blue on all sides. It's getting energy from all sides. Um, and this is going to make our machines work a little bit harder. And we're actually going to tell it... Uh, yeah, that's actually the perfect number for um, for input. We can tell it to input less, but uh, that's our perfect number. So let's go ahead. I know I just said I was going to wait, but why wait, right? Why wait? Let's see. We're staying stable right at the top. And we'll drain this out. And we'll make that automated. Don't worry. Um, but we'll drain that out and put it up at the top. I did g decide to go ahead and do that weird little infinite loop because, you know, why not make things break, right? Sweet. I'm a little under the weather, guys, so I'm sorry that this episode is somewhat boring. But it's always fun when you automate the things. All right, so we need to get our fluid ducts run there too. So fluid ducts like this. And that's not a fluid duct, is it? Of course it's not a... Oh, let's not connect that, even though it wouldn't do anything. Um, and then these bad boys. And these bad boys. And another one, two. And rotate and rotate. Sweet. So they're getting steam. Everything's working at its max. We're going to have... Hey, we're staying pretty stable. Alright, so we're staying pretty stable. This will continue to warm up and it'll it'll begin to, uh, to work well for us. We're staying real stable, actually. A lot more stable than I thought we were. Perfect. Alright guys, so I hope you all enjoyed the episode. I'm going to wrap it up here. If y'all did, like and subscribe. Next episode, we'll do this. I'll see y'all in the overworld.